so excited to share this product that I have here with you guys today. Um, it's really, really cool. So basically I'm looking for some art for my house and I want something abstract and also something personal. So I ended up reaching out to the guys from DNA 11. Uh, they do custom DNA prints. Uh, they're one of a kind. Uh, see here, I don't know if you guys can see it, it says, from life comes art, and that's really what they do. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. I reached out to them. They were super kind about sending me a couple of kits so I can show you guys how it works. I've got one for me, one for my girlfriend, and one for my dog. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through it. Let's open it up here and see what we've got. So inside, a real nice tin case that it comes with, and everything you need to do your print is in here. It's basically, the core of it is this uh, swab which I'm gonna use, get my sample, I'm gonna rub it on this micro card that comes with it, and then basically I'm gonna send it all back, and uh, you know, it comes with instructions, and this guy right here, for you to be able to tell them which color print you want, which color uh, scheme that you want. Really, really nice, I really like the way it looks when they're done, so let's, uh, let's do my swap here, so. Set this up like this, just kind of on its thing. The applicator goes into my mouth and then onto this card. So let's see. There we go. So I'm just gonna. All right, that's one side. Now I'll do the other side. All right. All right. So I got it out here. Now you're not supposed to rub it. You're supposed to just tap it and then this thing turns white. So I'm just gonna tap it here. I'm actually gonna put it back down here. And I can see it's starting to change color right away as I tap it. So I'm just gonna stop so you guys can see. It's already starting to change color, which is pretty cool. Uh, here, let me do some more CC. And basically, once it turns white, I can stop. Now, a quick thing a lot of people ask right off the bat is, uh, am I gonna get my ancestry? Am I gonna find out anything about myself? The answer is no. Uh, that's not what this is. This is really just about turning your DNA into a piece of abstract art for your house. Uh, there are services that, that will, you know, like ancestry services, they'll tell you where you're from, or other services that'll tell you if you're predisposed for certain uh, illnesses or what your genetic makeup is. Uh, I find that very interesting too, but like I said, my goal for this uh, particular project is uh, decorating my house and finding a gift for my girlfriend. So. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna hold that up real close so you can kind of tell that it has changed color here. Um, and then basically put my applicator away and we'll just leave this here for about an hour. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been about an hour. My sample's been here drying. As you can see, it's uh, you know it's quite white. It's nice and dry now. Hopefully there's a good sample there for them to get. And then once you're done, you basically have this pouch that you can seal up. Sample goes in there. And one thing that's really important, and I almost screwed it up, is uh, the kit comes with one of these silica packets. And uh, if you're like me, your first instinct is just to you know just chuck it away. It's just there for packaging, but you actually need it. You actually need to put this in the pouch with your sample just to keep everything, um, just to keep any moisture from getting in there and I guess ruining it. So I'm putting you know the silica packet in, in with my sample. You know, there's a little sticker, you just peel it off, fold it up, and then uh, it's nice and sealed. Then that goes into this little bag they give you with your information card, with uh, all your, you know, coordinates. Um, and then also on the back, you tell them which color scheme you want. All right, let's go get my girlfriend to do her swab and see if I can <laughs> swab my pit bull mix without losing any of my uh, fingers here. Hey, you ready to give me some DNA? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh, Dope. Yep. Yeah, dab it. Dabbing. There you go. Sit. Stay. Good girl.
here. It's finally here. This is the DNA print. They're in here, they're in this box. My DNA limb prints right in here. So let's get to work. So this is the size they recommended uh, for me based on my walls. Uh, they have other sizes. You could do them stacked differently if you want. You could sort of put one on top of the other instead of having them next door to each other like mine here. Uh, but wow, this, this really turned out nice. So uh, this white one here, that's my girlfriend's DNA. And this dark one here, appropriately, is my DNA. So I'll just leave you this one here so y'all can look at it. Maybe I'll see if I can hold it up. All right. And I'll show you this one too. This is the dogs. And, whoops. Big fan of all this wrapping because you don't want these to get dinged or damaged. And there's my dog's DNA. And I don't know if you can see from there, but way down here in the corner is her little paw print. What do you think of this? Hey, what do you think? Does it look like you? Oh yeah. Not so interested? All right, you can go. That's okay. All right, so even though the dog's not super excited, I am. Uh, like I said, this turned out exactly as I was hoping. They look great, they're perfect gifts. You know, they're really nice, they're framed well. You know, it's proper wood frame in the back here. You know, it's got the, uh, the hanging line for you. Really just set up for you to, you know, put a nail on the wall and hang it up. So uh, so just one last thing, DNA 11 didn't uh, pay us to say anything. They did provide these prints, but uh, I really just wanted to share them with you because I think they're cool. So uh, if you think they're cool too, head down to the link in the description, check them out. There's tons of patterns, tons of colors. They also do uh, a kiss print, fingerprints. You know, they'll do stuff for your dog. Um, ask them if you want to do that little print. They don't really advertise it, but if you want the little paw print, you can ask and they'll do it for you. Uh, just a really cool, friendly company. So. Head on over if you're looking for something for your house and I'll be back next time with some more cool stuff for you to check out.